Some have seen their gas bill triple in the last couple of months, and many are unfortunately behind on their bill. Many who heat with natural gas are fuming over huge increases in those bills this winter. Now, two suburban lawmakers want to eliminate a surcharge that utilities add each month. But the companies say that will do little to reduce the costs. Our political editor, Mike Flannery, reports. Lake County State Representative Joyce Mason accuses natural gas utilities of inflating their surcharge, originally intended to pay for work to make the system safer. Unfortunately, instead of just making the necessary safety repairs, the utilities are now spending money on things like installing new meters and replacing perfectly safe pipes. And we're all getting stuck with the bill. Utility watchdogs say typical customers of NICOR and People's Gas have already paid hundreds of dollars for construction work and face future charges of thousands of dollars more. A spokesman for People's Gas says they're spending only what's necessary. Look at what happened in Texas last winter. 246 people lost their lives. That is what underinvestment in natural gas infrastructure looks like. People's Gas says 90% of the recent increase in home heating bills was caused not by construction, but by soaring market prices for natural gas itself. Watchdogs acknowledge much of that, but seek to repeal the surcharge anyway, and to give state regulators more power over future utility spending. This bill will slow the breakneck pace of rate hikes people in all corners of this state have been experiencing. Watchdogs argue that utilities could still make needed repairs to their systems, but would have to win approval from state regulators, just as they currently must do for other rate increases. I'm political editor Mike Flannery.